you know, when I was 19 or so, I actually hit my head so hard that I got concussed and lost my memory for two days. And it's terrifying. Wow. I, I, I can't like ever wish it on anyone because like having, having memories on the tip, on the literally or like on the, almost like the, having a word on the tip of your tongue is the, the most frustrating, horrifying feeling. Like when you know, you should know something, but you just can't get it is mm. awful. And it's, and then I have a family member with dementia as, as have a lot of people. So it's touched yep. a lot of us. And so by enabling them to have a tool that can interact with them to tackle their loneliness, they wake up a bit scared, they wake yeah. up, you know, or they just get confused or, you know, uh, maybe there's just no one else around and you have a replica of someone they, they know that they're familiar with that can interact with them, call them, uh, talk to them and just be there to like, you know, make sure and just have a conversation with them 24 7 365 which that person may not be able to because you know we have uh, lives as much as you would right. you'd want to be around for them so by having replicas they can interact with and, and a whole group of them means that while they're interacting with those replicas you know the, the personality about them the replicas are asking them stories they're learning about the the, the patient and so it tackles the loneliness it's not a it's not a cure or any, anything even remotely oh, close no. to like solving it but as a nice tool for someone suffering with dementia to be able to interact with replicas of famous people or friends or family to be able to con converse with them uh, twenty like whenever they want, whenever they need to. Um, and then beyond that, the idea really is to add some sort of agency where we can add uh, daily reminders, like phone calls just to keep them company. But again, learning yeah. from them. Uh, because when someone gets diagnosed with dement dementia, one of the first things that they get told to do is start like journaling and like writing a life story to keep their brain active. But often that yeah. becomes extremely difficult very fast or they forget where, where they are, what they're talking yeah. about. With a kind of like natural language interactive replica, it, it goes a long way to... Um, uh, to essentially, you know, helping that. And it's just a really nice sort of experience for them. The, the, the difficulty we face actually on the hardware side then, because a lot of them, you know, uh, using things like, you know, smartphones for typical dementia patients and using applications is a bit more of a challenge. So we are, yeah. you know, looking into ways that we can, you know, improve that on the, on the B2C side. But the actual interaction they have with the replicas is incredible. And then at the end of the whole process, uh, their families have this version of them that they can talk to and interact with and share for generations.